grind TV. 20 seasons, 10 years. <laughs> yep. Oh, Irving Grind Radio. Urban Grind Radio, we back. <laughs> hey, we be having fun off the air, on the air, whenever, whenever we link up, man. Shout out to my co-host here, Miss. You gonna say your name? Yeah, oh, you just gonna smile, Miss Miranda Wright, the right way. Yes, so, y'all see how he put that together, name. Miranda Wright. Right way hashtag so if y'all ever say the right way hashtag that the right that's the hashtag yes. that's the hashtag the right gotcha. Gotcha. and then we got a special guest here today all our guests are special of but course you, they are not this the, brother not the, here not the slow bus. Special. <laughs> special. i'm glad you clarified that that's, okay. that's, that's, right. <laughs> for clarification <laughs> keep so y'all saying. know yes, right yes. you know what i mean just so, so y'all yep. know yes 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 very official. Who, who we got, man? Let them know who you are. Oh, this is the part where I talk. This is the part where you talk. Man. All right. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. You gave right. me the I green light. I'm going right in. Yes, What's sir. going on, everybody out there in Radio Land? I go by the name of D2G. D2G, you sound man. Prepared. Nah, I just like talking sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Uh, what is it? Tequila. What's what is it? It is <laughs> National Tequila Day. So, salute. Uh-huh. Salute. Uh-huh. El like Nasi. Like Miento. Got us. You know, I got a little shoulder move. Right? Dude, you gave the hashtag. He was introduced and said, you ain't put a little dance on my shoulder. I was kind of like, oh, man. yeah, we here now. Got some rhythm to it. Got some bounce, right? You know, just a little bounce. The, the right way. Bank had to be proud. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So D2G, man. Uh, definitely, one. definitely a staple in the city, man. Oh, and, and I'm just a dude that raps. I just, I try. That's man. not all you do. Well, what else do you do? It's not all I do. What um, else do you do? And now, see, I'm off the key. You gonna have me list off the credentials? Okay, I'm gonna try to. Come on with it. Um, I occasionally songwrite outside of hip hop. You know what I mean? I got a little R&B under my arm. You know what I'm saying? Under my wing. Got a little bit of background vocal arrangements. I got a little bit of production credit. You know what I mean? I, I try to fill in what I can, man. It's not just rap. You can't just be out here getting the one check. You gotta multiply, mm-hmm. diversify your bump. But exactly. you're standing in the most humblest way possible. I dig it. You got if you keep it humble, it keeps it flowing. That's all. Just, too long, too long. You know, you, you, don't don't toot the check, cause that's that's when it's two commas on the check. With two commas, you good. <laughs> we say that. Yeah, two that's commas, that's man. Then we can say whatever we need to right, say. Right, just there. two <laughs> commas. Speak on it there. This is real, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> with all of these, you know, slashes. Remember the remember the football term was the slash. Yes. Right? This, this slash that yes. slash that. I'm gonna bring that back. So you, you gotta bring you the, it back. You the you the slash in the in the game. So how do you find the energy to do it all? Like, is, is there one that is, that drives you more than the other? Or? You know what? I think just because of the fact that I've pretty much just been raised off of music in general, and it's not just within one genre. It gives me the ability to kind of put one foot in a bit, one foot out if I wanted to. You know, what I mean, I've had the pleasure of growing up in exploring myself in many of, you know what I'm saying, music options. Like I was in a whole, you know, choir back in Network Coves Elementary in like fourth grade, back when they used to say that sounded like Tevin Campbell. <laughs> Don't put that in the quotes just yet. But yeah, I, I was right there, you know what I mean? Just I but you know, but <laughs> between that, you know what I mean, and then hip hop, that was my first my first love. You know what I'm saying? My mama put the headphones on the pregnant belly, you know what I mean? Oh, like, okay. I'm talking as far back as my first words, my first words, document. Picture a two year old singing Wild Wild West by Kumo D, and that's his first words. No mama, no dad dad, no other talk, but Wild Wild West, that come on, and I'm just at it all day. Wow. Now, now try talking to me and see if you get that same response. It's gonna be fidgeting in the fingers, watching TV, and hiding up under mama and grandma. But hmm. with that come on, oh my god, it's so time to go. That's it. That, that's it's in a bloodline. It's been since I was a little. So, you be singing in the shower? More so, <laughs> not singing per se, but I let the songs play and then try to find a harmony in that <laughs> and then try to play off of that. Right now. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I see you. But it gotta be the right soul for joint. 
they you gotta be the doing the wow 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 wow. All right, we go. Yeah, we dropping that in the oh, show. We gonna, drop, we gonna drop that at the show this yeah. week. Guys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this day in hip hop history. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta put that in there. But speaking of the singing, like I've seen you done some singing, like legit singing, like wedding singing. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, that's what the, that's is that like as a hip like? Give us a hip hop artist perspective on wedding singing. Okay. The, <laughs> the hip hop perspective is this. It's a bunch of people out there with drinks. They all like hearing stuff that's been done before. So the cover band pretty much. You done heard everything between the 50s up until now and every other genre. You put the rap part in there, something about it. They just raise their glass and turn up. Really? Yeah. They, they really do. Like picture, I'm going in there and you got to be fully dressed in the suit because corporate thing, that's kind of that thing. And... I get to transform into one minute I'm Diddy, the next minute I'll be Pitbull, the next minute I'm Biggie Smalls, and just a matter of what they want to request and what they want to hear. Yeah. That is crazy. Doing something that I already do for free anyway, singing other people's songs, and then I get paid for that. That's what's up. That's, you don't get no bigger than that. We got you real fast. As an artist, so should I say, what kind of music do you write? Like, it depends on what the melody and the beat takes. You go deep into your music? Or? I tend to, with my music, I like to base it off of telling the story. Okay. I mean, you got to really set yourself in a mind frame of whatever your emotion you want to draw out and bring it to a song. You know okay. what I mean? So if you like, you know, really, really happy mood, tap into your happy zone. You know what I mean? Get to listen to a few records, whatever makes you feel good, and try to give your take on it and then put it onto a beat. Right. If it's sad, it's the same process. If it's conscious wise, same process. If it's ratchet, same process. It's right. just it goes off of what you feel. You know what I mean? The more that you live life, the more you should be able to put into your material. How long you been doing music? Oh, I can't even like professionally Two. like to pursue. Cool you know, since the Wild Wild West. Well, okay, a little <laughs> bit after Wild Wild West, but I'll probably say I've been in my first professional recording studio around the seventh eighth grade range so that's for me about 2000 2001 so i've kind of been at this for quite a long time you know, okay. just experimenting with things you know trying out styles and seeing what fits my mold because before it was just punchline 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 bar punchline 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 bar right. now i find out that you can actually create visions throughout your song create emotions throughout your song so that's why i kind of want to specialize in the storytelling part because i feel like if you're brought into a song because that's what music did for me right. whatever stories that was there you pretty much had it drawn out you know what i mean like a certain thing happened in there and even if you haven't had it exactly happen to you before you get that feeling of what it means to feel something like that so i feel like those are the songs that stick to me personally it stays within my mind and I try to have my music in that vein. So do you, because you say you, you, you focus in more into the um, storytelling, do you yes. try to do it all or you just, it's just your main thing? Like, do you dab into? Oh, I, I could dab into pretty, that's the key thing about storytelling. It allows you to dab into other territory. Okay. So you can apply that same logic you will put into your regular content and put it into something else. Like, I'm more, you know, I'm cool with my vibes, but I can turn up for a couple records. I could go, you know what I'm saying, like one minute I'm on my Black Star thing and then the next minute it's Murder on or Mike Will made it or Mustard on the beat or something like that. I could dip and dab into it all. That's the thing about versatility. When you're focused on trying to make something that's of the times, it's going to sound just like that, of that time. If you try to do something that's more forward looking and progressive or something that's, you know what I'm saying, like you're trying to change the time to make it shift as is, that's where the longevity part comes in. And that's where, you know what I mean, like that's why a lot of legends that we know and love are still relevant even to this day. So you're you're a very open and honest artist on you know what I'm saying? On your personal pages and yeah. on, online. It's the cancer in me, man. I'm sorry. If you had, I guess <laughs> I can so, <laughs> well, no, no, no. no. Don't, don't be judging. I, right? we, we out here. Cancer's 6 9 Right. No Takashi, though. You don't do that. <laughs> so I know one of, the, one of the questions that Miranda usually asks is, you know, about the struggles. And with this longevity and 
Chicago and all the factors that that come into play. Man. Like, what 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 is the secret sauce of keeping it together? Because I mean, I, like I can honestly say, being an honest artist, I've seen you struggle. Yeah. And so what what keeps you you know from going all the way off the edge? Just hearing you, I never thought you struggled. Consistency. <laughs> honestly, consistency can get you further than you can even imagine. Mm. Like the more that I keep going and I just keep my nose into the grind and I keep my head into my work and mm. I keep going on what's next that I can do, everything mm. else, whether good or bad, it's gonna fall high to me. The chips are going to fall. You know what I mean? Like, you know to this day, even right now, I'm just now finally like able to kind of, you know what I'm saying, like say, hey, I did this, I opened up for such and such. Like just the list off, bro. The Joe yeah, Button yeah. show is still talked about to this day. Yeah. Sellout yeah, show. Yeah. And I'm the only act that gets asked for an encore. I'm leading me literally to the point where I get off the stage, the next the next act that comes in after me, half the crowd leaves. You know what I mean? Like sold out show for 20th anniversary of my beeps, hell on earth tour. And I'm the last there. act. That was the last show they tour, and I'm the yeah. last act to open up for them. Yeah. That's rest in peace to Prodigy. That's an yeah. honor. That's you know what, what I mean? It's, and even in that, that it's flow like, was rocking, man. Yeah, and That's I couldn't huge. enjoy myself or kind of say, yeah, I did that because literally the next day I'm in the studio. I'm worrying about what's coming up next. I want to have something so where each year that passes by, I leave you with something. You know what I mean? And it's always forward moving. So, do you think it's your songs that left them with the wow, or was it your performance? I honestly think it was a good mix. You know, I, I think the performance part is what kind of grabbed them in to give me an ear. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, he is rocking that stage. I wonder what he's saying. Did you dance on something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got my Diddy on, you know what I'm saying? I got a little nice Diddy bop. I, 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 I give anybody which camera I'm going to look at. Listen, I want to challenge Diddy to a a diddy bop off. Okay? <laughs> yeah, if you, yeah. you still got it, your knees ain't went out too bad. I, I, I challenge you. It's just my thoughts. But I think it's more so just engaging with the crowd. You know what I mean? Because everybody can pay in to see the show, and everybody can just come in and look at somebody. But if you bringing them in and making them feel a part of it, that's when they get their money's worth, and that's what's gonna make them want to look for you. That's what's gonna make them want to listen in to you. So I know one of the ways that. I've seen you get people involved. It's freestyle. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, I've i seen the evolution, so I, I can say, you know what I'm saying, I've heard the bars, I've heard the records, like all of the records. I was there around, you know, the yeah. peripheries of some of them getting made, they got yep. to hear some of them. But yeah, the, the the freestyle was was <laughs> legendary. I mean, it still is, I think, oh, but it's, I feel like I haven't seen it in a while. You haven't seen me? In a while, just in a like, while. Off just, the top, just, kick yeah, I don't think so. The, are you inviting me out to do something right now? Go ahead, yeah. do it. Are, I am on national tequila <laughs> day. I, I mean, <laughs> hold on, because see, see you giving away something. Let's tequila go. Tequila today, so see, yeah, straight like that. It was as you proposed it. We rocking here on national tequila day. You challenging me to a freestyle, and now I feel away. As I got a styrofoam, they still don't want to leave me alone. I'm a scientist on the floor and they still trying to clone. As I'm here on this urban ground with my urban mind. And I get them flipped over as if it's turpentine. Off of this little strand that they call the clementine. And I can make a declaration now that the summer's mine. Maybe the winter, if they will try to enter. Get on my court, force my position, I'm the sensor. You ain't getting past me, I'm a tumble on the block. And still playing like I'm D-Rose when it comes to shots. But no injury upon my leg. Unless you decapitate and then I'm captain, I go peg with no pie with chips. I can get a little climbing tip. It's hot when hot when it's cold. It's still ain't had the curse flow. Ain't name somebody that can get me on a worse flow. And this is me up at my lowest point. But that's enough of that. I give you the promotion and you can spend the jewels. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, I need my money. Y'all dropped that effect in that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah, we need that. Oh, okay. like the Chicago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got to drop some bombs on that one. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do that in post, man. So, so, yeah, so you still got it. <laughs> I'm just, I, I, I would hope so. You know, if you, if you feel otherwise, hey, congrats. But there you go. So what's you working on now? 
Right now, I'm actually I'm two projects done for the year, and I'm dropping them one at a time. The first mm. one we looking at August 23rd. Okay. I got an entire project produced by the homie brother Gif. So me and him collabing on something that's gonna be called that one Friday. That's the entire the entire project. So what it is? Oh, uh, we're between the seven and ten mark, and that's honestly depending on how we film it. And they all go together because it's a story interchangeable with these songs. So it's like a straight movie that we're trying to paint out for you. So we're looking at that August twenty third. Shout out to the go. homie brother Gif. Uh, the next project. This is. Let's just say a familiar face is rocking with me on this okay. one. Uh, you might have seen him on a TV show, NBC's uh, Chicago PD. <laughs> if you happen to know Detective Atwater's character, then you know of the actor Leroy Hawkins. Well, me and him actually have a project that we're going to be dropping on you guys. Spoiler so. alert. Yeah. Wow. This is, this is a spoiler. I, I can't give a date on that one. You know, okay. politics. Do you have any visuals out right now that you'd like to check out? Um, actually, I have two visuals from the That One Friday project. Um, I have one video out called All That You Need, and that features the homie Runway Bella. She's dope. Mm -hmm. And then I just released a joint on my birthday. <laughs> Look at that. that. <laughs> it's, called, uh, it's called Talking. And the sample in uh, You Might Recognize is going to take you back to your childhood. So check that out. D2G just Talking video is out right well, now. Well, how it can wear? Well, it's, it's on the YouTube. Okay. You, know, you can look that up, D2G Talking. And that's coming off that one Friday. Album. So be looking on that. Look out for that soon, August 23rd. Another plug, if I can. August 24th, I'll be a sub T. And I'm opening for a legendary hip hop group, Black Alicious, as they celebrate their 20th anniversary that's of their nice. album, Nia. That's so nice. I'm on a bill with them, you know what I mean? We're going to be a nice, sub T. Bro. You happen to be available August 24th, come through. We're gonna raise we gonna raise the roof on. Yeah. Bring the people. That's not really it. We need to talk about what, what's tequila on? Down. What's on? You you know, we know what it is. We, we know what it is. We do, <laughs> but we do tequila too. Right? I know I know you're you know. right. On I, that national day. No, I'm saying. <laughs> you know, parlay. We parlay. Our yeah. sponsors could get involved in that too, though. Oh, they yeah. should. We're we'll definitely okay. talking about it. They, they do me like they're going to dream, but it's okay. So <laughs> let, <laughs> let, I let them know where the people can find you, man. If you happen to be looking for me in the physical form, the words of my brother, Mr. Talented, I'm here on Planet Earth. <laughs> right. uh, otherwise, if you Petty go on the social. Yes. yes. Shout out to Petty Gang. I Chicago. wanted to get into that, but you got to come back. Oh, I, and we, I got you. We talk about that. Yeah, you you going to bring the Petty Gang? On, yes, yeah. got to bring them through. You can find me on my website, d2gmusic.com. Uh, once again, that's the letter, the number, and the letter, d2gmusic.com. Um, Instagram and Twitter, 2G Make a Move. If you happen to look me up on Facebook, it's D2G Music. Just type in D2G Music, and anything D2G is going to pop up for you, I promise. All right, we did that. So you got the market again too. Look at that, singing, rapping, dancing, he definitely can freestyle. Be a spokes, What's spokes up? Person. Right? Yeah. I'll yeah. at me. He Listen, hosted my I last host. show. We, yeah, yeah, host. yeah, yeah, I, I do hosting too. Yeah. So okay. it's just, it's a lot in this yeah. bag that I got. Yeah. If you capping to, you know, just just look it up. I yeah. got you. Gotta speak on it so, so we'll know. Oh, we'll know. indeed, indeed. Do it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> so, Urban Grind, y'all know what to do, man. Make sure y'all check them out and y'all stay tuned right here and we'll be back. What's going on, everybody out there? This is your man's D2G, Reflective Music General. And uh, if you're not in tune with it by now, you stupid. This is Urban Grind Radio. Listen in for real.